So there's, there is no clear path to decide right now what is best for the patient, whether you should go for the 2IO versus the combination of two different mechanisms of action. And in fact, it's not just that you have an agent that has an angiogenic effect such as cabozantinib, but you also have the potential background knowledge of the biology where you expect cabozantinib may enhance uh, the immunotherapy outcomes. So essentially, I think that it will be a tough call moving forward, and we will have to potentially wait for some more mature data before making a final call. And of course, it will rely on each physician to decide based on the characteristics. Remember, looking at the trial, most of the patients had to have a reduction, quite a, quite a fair number of patients of the cabozantinib dosing. And only 3% had to stop, but this is first line. So we've got to be careful on that and with regard to monitoring and safety for these patients. So a lot to take in, but I think we'll get more and more mature data as this moves along.